This is five ways to keep your lymphatic system functioning at an optimal level, properly, doing what it's supposed to do for you. What is your lymphatic system? It is a network of vessels that helps maintain the fluid balance of your tissues. There's other videos on this if you wanna learn more. So what are we gonna start with? Well, it's composed of fluids. So guess what number one is? Is make sure you're properly hydrated. Now that doesn't mean it has to be water. You can drink tea, you can drink juice, you can drink soda. I know it's all bad words. You're like, no, 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 no. It's fine. Most of that stuff is water. It, it, at a base level, most of it's water and you're gonna be just fine. Just don't overdo it on the things that have a lot of sugar in them. Number two is the stuff that's in the water. And this is going to be electrolytes like sodium and potassium and calcium, those kind of things. Now, if you're eating a healthy diet, there's maybe not a lot of reason to uh, supplement electrolytes. But if you're doing a lot of physical activity, it's really hot outside, that might be a good time to make sure you have a little extra boost of something in the water that you're consuming. Number three, and this has to do more with if you've been stationary. So if you've been on a plane flight or you have some swelling in one of your limbs, your legs, your feet, that kind of stuff, is gravity or positioning is to make sure that if you're down low here, remember the lymphatic system does not have its own pump like the circulatory system. There's no heart. It relies on gravity and positioning and uh, the contraction of the muscle around these vessels. So get those legs up above the heart, get them above, you know, raise them up in the air. Even your arm, take time to stretch out above you for 30 seconds and give that fluid a chance to drain naturally. Number four, if it's being super stubborn or you just really, you're like, I really want to boost this. I want to see if I can squeeze this fluid out of the place where it is to someplace new. That's going to require wrapping. Okay. So lymphatic drainage. This is not the like super gentle looks useless massage because it actually is big secret there. You have to actually wrap or provide compression to a limb if you want to increase the movement movement of the fluid. And finally, and the easiest one, is just move around. A simple walk, uh, cardiovascular exercise, weight training, anything that engages the musculature that surrounds these little subway tunnels is going to uh, make them more efficient and it is going to make them do their job the way you want them to. So get up, move around, take a quick walk, I always say the best posture is the next posture, and that's especially true when it comes to managing the lymphatic system. Move around and your lymph will move with you.